In this video, we're going to look at Canoptech Wraiths. Sci-fi wargamers, helping you explore the hobby. Greetings, hobby fans. My name's Marcel, and it's my mission to help you explore the hobby. So today, we're going to have a look at those creepy Canoptech Wraiths. Let's get to it. Canoptech Wraiths. While a tomb world fitfully slumbers, Canoptech Wraiths are its eyes and ears. They flit silently through the dusty halls, patrolling for intruders and inspecting systems for damage and decay. The Wraiths are primarily probe mechanoids, programmed to report back to their Canoptech spider controllers via interstitial interface, rather than to act under their own cognizance. When orders are received, the Wraith carries them out with unfaltering resolve, be it commanded to strike against an intruder or conduct repairs in the heart of a collapsing tomb. The Wraith will follow instructions to completion or to the termination of its function. The Canoptech Wraith's most notable feature is its dimensional destabilization matrix, a phase shifter that allows it to skip in and out of reality. It can even adjust the modulation of the matrix in order to keep sections of its form in different states. Whilst a completely phased out existence can be sustained almost indefinitely, a half phased state takes a great deal of energy to sustain. Indeed, the Wraith's body is little more than a series of interlocking power generators and ethereum load conduits. And even so, it can exist in dual state for only limited periods of time. The dimensional destabilization matrix was originally conceived to allow the Wraiths to reach into and repair solid machinery without all the trouble of removing outer components or armoured casings. It is, however, no less valuable when dealing with intruders, if the timing is correct. A Canoptech Wraith can phase its claws and tendrils inside an opponent, swiftly re-solidifying them to sever arteries, nerve clusters and other vital pathways without leaving an external mark to show for it. Furthermore, the foe must time his return blows with great care, lest his weapons pass through the Canoptech Wraith's phase out form. Though their primary function is to watch over their sleeping masters, wraiths are often drafted into armies to serve as advance scouts. The dimensional destabilization matrix allows a wraith to traverse all manner of terrain without pause and also serves to hide it from enemy eyes and sensors. Many an enemy army has advanced across a tomb world little knowing that its every move is watched, recorded and reported on by the ghostly Canoptech Wraith. Only the most observant of foes can hope to catch sight of the lurking Wraith's spectral form or detect the unsettling electronic chatter that accompanies its precise transmissions. Even then, such things are commonly dismissed as tricks of the imagination. Once the inevitable battle begins, the Canoptech Wraith is then tasked with sowing terror and disorder throughout the enemy ranks by striking at commanders, support troops and supply lines. Anything that a more conventional strike force would struggle to reach. Indeed, sometimes an enemy commander won't even make it to the battle. Instead, he is slain in his sleep the night before by the cold claws of a Canoptech Wraith assassin to whom doors, guards and force fields are no barrier. Is it safe to come out? Wow, they really are some scary things, aren't they? If you want to see some more Necron units, click in the Necron playlist here, somewhere. Please remember to like and subscribe. You can even support the channel by joining the Patreon page, the link to which is in the description below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels.